Hello, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Christine and I like to read dark and disturbing things. I also tend to get a lot of book mail and do a lot of unboxings and I just came back from a week out of town and I had quite a few packages waiting for me. So not one, not two, but three boxes. So I have a Lumicrate Unplugged and Twisted Retreat and the reason I have so many is a combination of being out of town but then also them being kind of behind and then trying to catch up. So yeah, let's get into it. <laughs> separate the different boxes so you could skip ahead if there was just a certain box you wanted to see. I'm also probably going to go through them pretty quickly because I don't want this to be a million years long. So let's just start with Illumicrate. I'm not even sure what month these boxes are anymore. Um, so when I open it up, I have a quite a large box on top, but I just want to see. Okay, so this is the April adult box and it is Be My Enemy. I'll just set this aside for a sec. And let's see what's in this rather large box first. Oh, looks like a cup. All right, I'm not sure what fandom this is, but this says the Vermilion Bird, and it's a plastic tumbler with a straw and a lid, which I do really like. Um, I think I can't have enough cups, but my husband would disagree. So. I'll have to look and see what fandom that is from. Next up, I see a little pouch. Ooh. Wow, okay, so we have this sword. Again, I don't know what fandom this is from. And it is like encrusted with these jewels. You can get a good look at that. I'm never quite sure what to do with these sword replicas. Um, some of them are made to be like a letter opener. This one does not appear to be. So I will have to look up and see what fandom that's from. All right, moving right along, I see a fabric item. Pardon me while I open the wrapper. All right, and we look like we have a pin banner. So something that you can hang up and put all of your collectible enamel pins on. This is beautiful. I don't know what fandom it's from, but it is really pretty. All right, moving right along. I think we have one more item and then our book. And this looks like it's a paper craft kit. And it says a blaze of desire. And it looks like we'll be making this. Man, I am batting zeros i don't know any of this is from i see the poppies i'm gonna guess it's from poppy war i haven't read it but that's gonna be my guess we'll see if i'm right and like i said i'm just blowing through these boxes really quickly the book that came out oh book plate is oh it's inside okay is some desperate glory by emily tesh let me open her up all right so mine is a little bit damaged i don't know if you could see that there and then Maybe that's part of the cover. So we have this pretty beautiful cover and look at these sides. Galaxy size. I don't, I've not had one like that. So that's really pretty. We open her up. Oh boy. Okay. So we've got some beautiful end papers here. And on the cover, it says, while we live, the, enemy, the enemy shall fear us. We are what's left. We are what must survive. And that is a really pretty cover there. Back end pages are different. And this looks very sci-fi fantasy. All right, so it seems like this is about a woman who is trying to avenge the destruction of planet Earth and also her family. It says, it is a thrillingly told science fiction tale about wreckage of war, the family you find, and who you must become when every choice is stripped from you. This standalone space opera is highly anticipated debut novel from the astounding award winner and Crawford Award finalist Emily Tesh. So sci-fi is not my general, usual genre, um, 
this does sound interesting. I do like a good revenge story. So uh, I'll have to check this one out. And then let's just check our sheet here to see what we have. So our pin banner is inspired by the realm of the elderlings by Rob Robin Hobb. Never, actually never heard of it. Okay, looks like I did get one right. The paper craft kit was inspired by Poppy War. The vermilion bird tumbler is inspired by Iron Widow. I do think I got that one in a book box a while ago. I haven't read it yet. Surprise. And then our book. So this was a Luma Crate, April 2023. Let's check out our next box. All right, so this came in a plain box. So I did open it to even see what it was. Um, it is unplugged. And now that they don't put a spoiler card in here anymore, I'm not sure, but I think that I just got one like right before I left on vacation. So I got one a week later. This has got to be April. I think they're behind in playing catch up. So I got a lot of these. Okay, so on top, I see this little thing. Ooh, murder mystery egg hunt, unplugged box. It's kind of hard to see because of the font, but I think this says it's a facial soap and it has maybe a rock or something inside. So this is different. Um, it does say that it smells like sunflower and murderous intent, which is a great combination. That's one of my favorites. All right, next up I see a Fiction Bath Co. product. I know I've said this before, but I've never gone wrong with Fiction Bath Co. and this is inspired by Anne of Green Gables. This looks like it is a shower gel, bergamot, green tea, and meadows. Ugh, not my usual scent palette. It smells fresh and clean. Definitely, you know, we're getting into these spring things. Spring's just not really my scent um, preference. I love things from fall but right, moving right along, we have a couple boxes and then a book. And this is probably their candle. I am not sure what this is from. It says Essence of Wrath, London Soy Candle, Amber Oud Vanilla, and Poison Apple. I do like the colors. And then I feel like I know this, but I don't know this. I like this one. Um, it's not super springy and it smells pretty good. All right, so we have another box. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, it looks like a bowl. Again, I feel like I know this, but I will have to look up I will have to look up the spoilers and maybe pop up on the screen what these are inspired by since I can't pull it up on my phone and record at the same time. But that is cute. Got two little boxes that look the same and then a book. Oh, LED dorm light. I wonder if these are... Okay, so I think that these are going to be like lights that you can put in your shelves, like to light underneath. I think my only problem has these little sticky things here. My only problem is that these things all need to be like plugged in with one of these. Oh, it looks like it's okay. So maybe you just have to charge it up because it's already got a charge. Oh. Oh, it's got different, I don't know if this is gonna show up on camera. But it has like a couple different light settings. That's kind of cool. So there's two of those. Let me see if they're identical. They are. That's a useful item. Um, I like that they're chargeable and don't need to be plugged in. And lastly, we have a book called Finian Street of Mystery by Anne Emery. I've not heard of this. Let me open it up so we could check it out. 
This looks very different from anything I own. I love this dark blue. And on the back, we've got like the clues and the fingerprints. It says set in Dublin in the night in the 1970s during a time of unrest over the question of a united Ireland. This book should appeal to readers who appreciate atmospheric historical mysteries. Recommended for fans of Tan Tanya French's Dublin Murder Squad series. This is like nothing I've ever read. I don't read a lot of um, mysteries or thrillers. Oh, I didn't even show you the end of papers or the the edges there. Oh, I love that this, oh, I love that this is set in Ireland. All right, look at that, gorgeous. Oh, I love this. We have a map of Dublin Ooh. here. And on the back, Signed. Oh, I forgot to check if the other one was signed. It looks like it has a digital signature there, which to me it doesn't matter if it's uh, signed or a book plate or whatever. So this looks like it's going to be a murder detective story in set in Ireland. I love that it's not set here. I love reading books that take place in other countries and especially Ireland. I am very much intrigued by this and it is sounds like nothing that I've ever read or that I own at all. So this is why I like getting these book boxes because I get to try new things. So this one's a winner for me. All right, last but not least, I have a Twisted Retreat box. I haven't gotten one of these in a while. I was told that my I don't remember what box we're on, but I was told that it was going to be delayed until May. So I'm gonna open this and just see what month this is. Okay, so this is April's box. So it didn't really come that late. Um, we've got our spoiler card. It looks like the May theme is time to panic. All right, this box is pretty packed. So let's see what we have. So first we have, oh, this looks like it goes around the cup. So we have like this kind of faux leather thing with a snap and then just a metal cup. Hmm. Okay, so it goes around like this. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm never gonna I'm never going to um, go to grab a cup and then feel like, oh, let me find the piece that goes with it, put it together and drink out of it. It's just not practical. I'm not sure what they're thinking, but this one's not really a win for me. We have another Fiction Bath Co product, uh, Silence of the Lambs, handcrafted shower gel. Rosemary, cedarwood, and blood orange. Let's smell it. Ooh. Okay. The blood orange comes through to me first and foremost. I was worried that it was going to be too woodsy, but oh, this is good. This is good stuff. All right. Where to go next? We have this little box here. Looks like it's a trinket tray, and I'm not sure if this is a particular fandom or not, but it is a little bit larger than other trinket trays I've seen. So I'll have to see if this is a specific fandom. I like the colors of it. Let's address the big guy in the box here. And this says it is an espresso coffee maker. I do like coffee, but I've never used something like this to make it. So let's see what it's about. Hmm. 
<laughs> uh, it says, if I died, at least I died for the love of Kathy. I can, I feel that. I am not sure how to use this. So I have a feeling that this is a, like, you pour hot water in there and it's like a steeping situation. I will have to look up how to use it because I'm dumb. I don't know. But that is really cute. Right. And then we have our tarot card. Um, this one is inspired by Dracula, which I do like. And it has Transylvania. And the candle will probably match that. So let's open that now. It is indeed Dracula. It smells very fruity. It almost reminds me of some kind of scent of gum. I like it. Um, I'm Here we go. Get the focus there. Um, they never tell us what the smell is. But it's really fruity and light and it's actually quite nice. Next we have, it looks like some kind of, oh, blueberry lemonade mix. That's different. Pretty cool. It just says you add two and a half tablespoons to water and add ice. That'll be a good spring slash summery drink. All right, looks like we have one more item and then our book. Interesting. <laughs> so this looks like it says it is a barbecue lighter. I have never had anything like this, but what I like is it says you're a fire starter, honey, on the handle there, which I assume is Stephen King's fire starter. I like, this is unique and this is, a useful product so I'm interested to give that a shot and now last but not least we are on to our book and we have Briar Dark by S.A. Harian. Don't stray from the path. Let me open this up. All right so it looks like we have a skull in the forest. Look at that. That's really cool. Not sure just kind of looks like our edges are covered and like smudged in blood. Ooh, okay, okay. So first of all, I love this picture on the back side. I wish that was on the front. That is gorgeous. Or I wish they would have put the title of the book on the spine because I love that. That is beautiful. Then, we have our hardcover, which is also beautiful. Look at the back. Wow, that's so pretty. And we have, this kind of reminds me of like Blair Witch or something. Same on the back. And, I believe that's a digital signature there. Let's see what this is about. All right, so we have a, a doctor that is um, on a glacier expedition, like out in the wilderness, completely like desolate area. And they discover a missing hiker dangling from the tree. Of course their phone cuts out. And then the body vanishes without a trace. Not only that, her map no longer aligns with the trail. The glacier they're supposed to study has inexplicably melted. Strange foliage overruns the mountainside and a tunnel within a tree lures her to a hidden cabin and a stranger with a sinister message. Ooh, this sounds good. This sounds like a great fall read. Get lost in the wilderness. Spooky things happening. I like it. This one sounds interesting. All right, let's see from our little spoiler alert card. So we have our Firesider USB lighter, which was in fact um, 
inspired by Stephen King's Firestarter. We have a coffee maker. Oh, it tells you how to use it. Fill the lower chamber with water. Add coffee grounds or espresso to the filter and place on the stove top. Within minutes, delicious espresso will fill the top chamber. Interesting. Um, then we have our stainless steel travel cup. I'm not sure how that's a travel cup. There's no lid for it. So that's, yeah. Then we have our lemonade. Oh, it is inspired by Craven Manor by Darcy Coates. I did read that. The trinket dish is just supposed to be a tarot inspired design. Um, and then we have our candle, which of course was Dracula and our Silence of the Lambs shower gel, which I feel like was a missed opportunity to be lotion, puts its lotion on the skin. Either way, this was uh, worth the wait. I am really excited about this book. This one sounds really interesting. Um, the coffee maker is like a pretty big item and overall I'm happy with this. So sorry this was so much at once. I do believe that the Unplugged Book Box was probably my last one. I have just stopped because I'm getting so many boxes and I need to like catch up on my reading. So I don't think I'll be getting any more of those. Um, and besides, I'm getting Twisted Retreat, which is from the same company. Let me know which one was your favorite box. I think I, think I have to go with Twisted Retreat just because I am so interested in the book and the items were very useful, with the exception of that cup. But let me know what you think. Thank you for watching and as always, stay spooky.